Yo, 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 what's going on guys? It's your boy Baby Broly back at it with another video and today we have an epic Yu-Gi-Oh! opening for you guys. Now what you guys see in front of you are three epic Yu-Gi-Oh! sets. Galactic Overlord, Cross Souls, and Abyss Rising. And I believe these three sets are actually from the Zexel era and these blister packs are getting much harder to find and they're getting a tad more expensive so I'm glad that I was able to get my hands on these. Thanks to my boy D Legend, shout out D Legend. Go check him out on YouTube. He has a phenomenal YouTube channel and he makes amazing content, guys, amazing. So make sure you guys go and check him out. He hooked us up with these, I wanna say like last year. So I've been holding on to these blister packs for quite a while now and today I've decided we're just gonna go ahead and bust these blister packs open and we have three of each here we have three abyss rising three cross souls and three galactic overlord now that's not all we're also going to be opening up some packs for my boy sir blackson because he purchased these off of instagram in support of the channel so he wanted to show his support by purchasing these packs in order for us to open it for him on the channel and hopefully we can pull something epic guys so right here we have Two unlimited packs of Shining Victories, two unlimited packs of Order of Chaos, and of course an epic Cyberdark Impact First Edition Booster Pack, and I believe this is retail. 100% this is retail. All right, so obviously with retail, we can pull an ultimate rare um, of a rare, and in the hobbies, you can pull an ultimate rare of the supers and the ultra. So we do have a very minimal chance of pulling an ultra rare and hope or not an ultra rare an ultimate rare and hopefully we can do that for our boy sir blackson and hopefully we can get something out of these five packs all right now before we begin the video make sure you guys subscribe if you guys enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh content if you guys enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh openings i highly recommend it and also drop a like on this video as it will help out this channel so so much and leave a comment in the comment section below what do you guys want to see pulled? There are going to be some epic cards in these sets, guys. All three sets give us a chance to pull a Ghost Rare. There is a Ghost Rare in all three sets, which makes this a little more exciting. So it's in a way we're kind of ghost hunting, all right? So this is going to be super fun. I know there's not a lot of packs. It's nine packs in total or nine blister packs in total. Hey, it all comes with the thrill. It all The fun comes in the search, all right, in the hunt. So hopefully we can pull something crazy. Maybe even pull a couple ultimate rares, maybe one, who knows? We'll see what our odds are. All right, guys, without wasting any more of your time, let's get straight into this opening. All right, guys, I'm super excited. We're gonna start this thing off. Of course, we're gonna start from right to left the way I have it set up, Abyss Rising, Cross Souls, Galactic Overlord, and we're gonna kind of cycle through this. We're not just gonna open all of Abyss Rising, we're not just gonna open all of Cross Souls and all of Galactic Overlord. We're gonna, we're gonna rotate, all right? We're gonna add some diversity here. But first and foremost, we're gonna go ahead and open our loose packs for our boy Sir Blacks. And we're gonna start off, of course, with Shining Victories. Hopefully we can pull something from this. I haven't opened up Shining Victories in quite a while. I don't even remember what's in this set, to be honest. But hopefully we can pull a Secret Rare for our boy Sir Blackson. All right, starting us off, we got a Gendo the Ascentic Monk. Bug Emergency. Luna Light Black Sheep. Finite cards, not infinite cards. Finite cards. Press this with eyes of blue. And we have a rare Speedroid Pochingo cart. Behind that we have Perform Pal Fireflux. Amorphage Wrath, World Carrot Weight Champion. All right, so no foil in that one. Second Shining Victories pack. Come on, let's get this. Let's pull something for our boy. Gendo the Ascetic Monk, again, a black wing. Gear Gianchor. Luna Light Panther Dancer. We got an ultra rare. What an epic looking ultra rare, too. Bloom Prima. Perform Pal Fireflux. Amorphage World Carrot Weight in the Kanju file. So we managed to pull a foil for our boy. Congratulations, Sir Blackson. We pulled an ultra rare. I don't know how much this card is worth, but it is an ultra rare. So the odds were against us, but we managed to beat the odds. So Luna Light, Panther, Dancer. What a beautiful card. All right, next pack. Order of Chaos. 
This is a phenomenal set as well. I know we opened up some first edition packs here on the channel before. So, I don't remember if we pulled any ultimate rares, but here's our chance. Variable form. Dark Manbell. Photon Crusher. Deegan Force. Gaga -ga -ga Guard. Behind that we have Inner Planetary Purple Thorny Dragon. Curry Volt. Vampire Koala. And it's the cutest looking koala. Evil Sorterius. Alright, so nothing out of that first pack. We do have one more pack of Order of Chaos. Come on, let's pull something. Starting us off, we have Dark Lion or Dark Lin. Chow Lin the Prophet. Koala Koala. Photon Circle. And behind that we have a Evil Tile Casanario. And the Ninjutsu Art of Super Transformation is super rare. Look at that. Two foils so far. All right. Our, our odds are pretty good. Evil Branch, uh, Insector, and then Galaxy Storm. So we pulled an Ultra Rare and a Super Rare for Sir Blackson. And of course, last but not least, Cyber Dark Impact. Look at this beautiful, beautiful artwork. The Cyber Dark Dragon right there. I still need that guy in an Ultimate Rare. First edition. And we'll try to uh, savage, salvage salvage this pack for Sir, for Sir Blacks. And we're going to send this pack to him. Because these packs are nice. I don't know if he collects the wrappers. But we're going to do our due diligence. And uh, take care of the wrapper. So that way we can send the wrapper to him as well. Because it is a nice wrapper. All right, here we go. Accumulated Fortune. Barrier Statue of the Inferno. I think this card is actually worth a little something. I wanna say a couple dollars or so. Chain Strike. Barrier Statue of the Abyss. Vanity's Ruler for a second. I thought this is the ultimate rare. Cause this does come in an ultimate rare. Vanity's Ruler. So no ultimate rare, unfortunately. We got Senate Switch, Queens, Bodyguard, Corruption Cell, A, and Blast, Osmodian. So unfortunately, no Ultra or Ultimate Rare in that Cyber Dark Impact Booster Pack. All right, starting this off, we're gonna go ahead and go with Abyss Rising. All right, so the Ghost Rare we can pull out of here is the number C32 Shark Drake Vice, I believe is what it's called. There's also some good ultimate rares in here, some Dolce ultimate rares that are actually worth a pretty penny. So maybe we can pull one of those, but uh, we will see. I'm excited, guys. I am excited. I don't think we've opened up Abyss Rising before on the channel, so this will be the first Abyss Rising pack. Here we, oh, okay. These, these packs are a little bit tougher to open, so we'll try to salvage the packs. Why not? These are, I mean, they're not vintage packs by any means, but they're still pretty old. So they're definitely not modern day packs. I'll tell you that much. So we'll try to maintain these. I think these came out like the early 2012, 2014 time frame. So starting this off, we have a Magic Deflector, Mermel Abyss Hildy, House Dustin, Mecha Sea Dragon Pleshin. Spellbook Star Hall. Okay, it's not a foil. Do we have a chance for a foil? Nope. Lumaria the Forgotten City. Okay. No foil on that one. We have Solar Wind Jammer. Unification and one shot wand. Alright, so we pulled a rare. Nothing too crazy. These older sets obviously. Hollows are not guaranteed. Kicking the next blister pack, we are going to open up Cross Souls. We've opened up Cross Souls before. Uh, we've actually opened up an entire special edition box as well as a booster box, but we had that in a split opening. Ghost Rare in here is the Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. I feel like we've had so many prints of different Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. I mean, the last one that came out, Legendary Duelist Synchro Storm, was the Crystal Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. And this one, you have the Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. 
in a ghost rare. I think it comes in an ultimate rare as well. All right, we also have a ghost ogre in here. So if we can pull one of those, that would be absolutely epic. Starting us off, we have a Zephrexa, the adorable Falafel Sheep, Statue of Anguish Pattern, Fluffle Crane, a Perform Pal Elephammer Rare. Behind that, we have a Powerful Rebirth. So there's our first super rare from our blister packs. Raider right after Mimi Crylanius, Fright for Factory. And Doom Dog Octros. All right, so powerful rebirth. We're gonna go ahead and sleep this up because we don't know how much it's worth. Sometimes these older sets, whether they're mid-level older sets, um, tend to have some valuable super rares here and there. We just don't know, so we're not taking any chances. All right, next pack, guys. We have Galactic Overlord. Of course, we've opened up this set before on the channel. And the ghost rare in this is the Neo Galaxy Photon Dragon. I believe that's what it's called. Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. I'm sorry. So we can pull that in a ghost rare. We can also pull it in an ultimate rare. Uh, we also have the number 11 big eye in an ultimate rare. And there's a few other ultimate rares in here that will stand out um, if we manage to pull one. So here we go. Let's pull that ghost rare. Can we do it? Beautiful pack. First edition. Let's do this. All right. Let's get this to focus. Heriatic Dragon of Esset. Insector Gauntlet. Phantom Bowser. Camera Clops. Evil Diversity Rare. And then behind that we have... Commander of Swords. Okay, so no foil on that one. We got Wattail Dragon, Exis Wrath, and Overlay Owl. Look at that. That is pretty cool. He's all swagged out, looking like he's getting ready to go to Hogwarts or something. <laughs> all right, back to Abyss Rising. We need a rise, guys. We need a rise. We need to pull that Shark Drake Vice, whatever it's called. Shark Drake Vice, right? Is that what it's called? Shark Drake Vice. Come on, let's pull a ghosty in this video. Need you guys to smash that like button. As you guys know, historically, that sends us luck. Here we go. Puny Penguin. Planet Pathfinder. Electromagnetic Bagworm. Mogmo. Emperor of Prophecy. Okay, I thought that was an ultimate rare. But I don't think this card comes in an ultimate rare. And behind that we have a Ignoble Knight of Black Lawn Salen. And this is a super rare. A very unique looking super rare, I'll tell you that. It's very dark. Kind of reminds me of the uh, the Dream Mirror cards or the Nightmare cards. Very dark. Very cool. Deep Sweeper, Soul Wind Jammer, and Snow Dust Dragon. Not Stardust. Snow Dust. So we'll go ahead and sleeve this card up. Very gorgeous artwork, I'll tell you that. Like a very like medieval type of artwork. Very cool. Cross souls, come on. Let's do this. Let's do this, cross souls. Can we do it? Can we pull the clear wing synchro dragon? I don't believe in the hardy cards, guys. We have to believe. We got Fiend Griefing. UA Rival Rebounder. Deskbot. 004, looking like Samus from uh, Metroid. Uh, Super Heavy Samurai Soul Buster Gauntlet. Edge Imp Tomahawk. Behind that we have a Shadal Sofranaga. Okay, so nothing in here. Zephyr Path. Soprano, the Melodious Songstress and Designer Frankfurt. Nothing out of these packs so far. We haven't had anything relatively good we've pulled a we pulled two super rares so far no ultras no ultimates we need to break this we need to break this come on galactic overlord let's pull that epic neo eyes galaxy photon dragon let's do it Whew. butin 
or button. Influence Dragon. Let's influence a sick pull here. Heriatic Seal of the Sun Dragon Overlord. Insector Ladybug. Heriatic Seal of Convocation. And behind that we have a Morphe Butter Spy. Okay, so nothing out of there. Commander of Swords. Lady of Dragons and Bright Star Dragon. All right, back to Abyss Rising. No pulls so far, guys. Nothing. Nada. We need to break this. Well, literally, we need to break this. <laughs> but we need to break our string of bad luck here. Oh, God. That was not a good way to pull pack out of the blister pack, guys. Hopefully, we didn't damage the cards. All right. Looking good. Here we go. Starting us off again. Puny Penguin. Planet Pathfinder. Electromagnetic Bagworm. Mogmo. Mermail Abyss Turge. All right. And then behind that we have a Deep Sweeper. So nothing out of here. Mermail. Meta Zingling. Hermit of Prophecy. Last two packs, guys. Last two chances to get something. We need something. Even if it's just an ultimate here. If we can pull a ghost, this will make up for the entire video. Here we go. Our best pull so far was for our boy, Sir Blackson. Here we go. Perform Pal, Lizard Draw. Pendulum Rising. Fiend Griefing. UA Penalty Box. Fright for Chimera, okay. And then behind that we have a Ultra, oh, an Ultimate Rare, Ritual Beast Ulti, Gaia Pelio. Okay, I thought this was an Ultra Rare for a second. But no, guys, this is an Ultimate Rare Ritual Beast. Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow, that is a beautiful card. I don't even know how much this card is worth. But my god, this is gorgeous. Ritual Beast, Ulti Gaia, Pelio. And of course, we're gonna go ahead and sleeve this up. First edition, what a beautiful ultimate rare. And just as we called it, guys, we needed an ultimate rare, and here it is. This definitely helps, this definitely helps. Because we were not pulling anything crazy. We weren't pulling anything, actually. We pulled one ultra rare in that, uh, Pack break for our boy Sir Ruxin, but not Sir Ruxin, Sir Blackson, not Ruxin. Shout out to Ruxin too, though. Uh, but yeah, Sir Blackson. But now we've pulled the ultimate rare, Ritual Beast OT Gaia Pelio. What a beautiful card! Beautiful. All right, I'm I'm happy about that. I am because I was starting to get a little bit worried that we weren't going to pull anything. We do have one more blister pack here to go. We have. The one and only Galactic Overlord. Last chance to pull something epic, guys. Here we go. Heriatic Dragon of Essence. Overlay Eater. Swallowtail Butter Spy. Phantom Bouncer. Hammer Shark. And behind that we have. Return. Okay, so no ultimate rare out of that. Lady of D. Doom Donuts. That's that's my type of card right there. Doom Donuts. And Blade Bouncer. Alright, guys. So in this video, I mean we didn't pull anything crazy, but we pulled the ultimate rare. Right Ritual Beast. Ulti Gaia Pelio. Such a long name. But a very beautiful card. The artwork is phenomenal. Just look at it. I don't know if you guys can see see it but it looks amazing it looks absolutely beautiful it is an ultimate rare we can't complain we asked for an ultimate rare we got an ultimate rare all right guys that's going to conclude this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did make sure you guys go and smash obliterate just destroy that like button guys like i said it's going to help out the channel so so much if you guys haven't subscribed make sure you guys go and hit that big red button subscribe and uh be on the lookout for more videos, guys. We have so many more 
videos coming here soon, guys. I know it's taking quite a while. I'm still trying to adjust to my schedule, still trying to pick up product. And uh, we've had some complications with picking up product here as of lately. So I'm trying to get everything sorted out and whatnot. But more videos are going to be flowing through here, here shortly. Um, I got some plans for 2022 as well since the new year is right around the corner. Other than that guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, thank you for the support. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!